hey guys welcome back to my channel to dreamlight valley decor so i know it's been a while but i'm very excited to finally share my current most updated build so far so uh this one i wanted to keep really simple guys um i didn't want it to be too cluttered and i didn't want to have to spend too much time on this build because i'm slowly trying to work my baby back in so you guys saw the background um the backyard build if you have not check out my channel i have the backyard it's so beautiful i love it it's a little more complex than this build but i absolutely love it so um, I love the rocky path. I think it's so perfect for the cottage core vibe. And then I wanted a fence. As you guys can see, I was trying to figure out what fence I wanted to use. I didn't want to use one that was too big and too like bulky and covers and then hides too much. So I felt like this new fence fence in the DLC was actually perfect for the vibe that I was going for. And so I wanted to add little items here and there as well so that it makes it look as close to a home cottage in the woods vibes as possible and I love the logs of wood I really wish we could like stack them on top of each other that would be nice there's a lot of features that I hope that they add on to later that we can um, custom the furniture a little bit more but for now I just laid the wood back to back and then I as you saw I put the little I think the little um, house for the animals in the DLC is so cute like I like that one so much more than the uh, the regular one that you can build without the DLC and the little bike I use all the time 24 7 I have it like in so many places in my in my um valley i don't know about you guys but i have them everywhere and i still wanted to be able to see the wood with the bench in the way so i was trying to see what it looked like in the view <laughs> and um again the fence was perfect for what i was going for i didn't want the rocky path to go all the way around i just wanted the rocky path leading up to the cottage and then having like a dirt path i wish there was like a way we could like smooth it out a little bit more to make it look a little less like you know with the past like blending the paths kind of together kind of thing that would be really cool but hopefully again that's another feature that they will add on later and for now so i wanted to have corners of the fences so i did it like that so that i can put something there i thought it would look cute um and we also put the bench because the picnic bench i love because it i feel like it just goes perfectly along with cottage core vibes and then the um the, I try to find like little baskets to put anywhere. I wish we could put stuff in the baskets, but <laughs> for now that'll do. So I really love the, the casita basket, the little, I forgot what they're called off the top of my head for now, but the wooden crate, there we go. The wooden crates from Encanto are one of my favorites. I really do wish we could put stuff inside, but for now that is what it is. And then the bench just matches so perfectly with the picnic table they're like the same color and same vibe so i love that as a bench instead of using another one of the wooden metal ones the you know the one with the wood in the middle that i have next to the cottage i just wanted to use that one because it just fits the vibe a little bit more and then i love adding as you can see i kept trying to add grass as much as i could in certain spaces because when you're trying to go for more of a cottage core vibe it uh, the, it really helps with that uh, so i'm starting to extend the path and i didn't want it to be just straight and i want it to you know look as as what do you call it as natural as possible i guess you could say i want it to look like when you go in the woods and the woods is not like a normal like perfectly straight path right so i wanted to try to make it 
a little more natural by making it move a little bit more to the right and to the left and so that's what I was trying to do before I start putting things down and I didn't have a lot of space so I had to try to work with what I could um, because I still wanted to be able to put space down I still wanted space to be able to put like shrubs and trees and grass and stuff around it and so I decided to um, try to extend it as much as I could but from there then you know my process is that I create the path and then I start putting things around the path like I forgot what these are called the ferns the ferns they are one of my favorites to line your path with because it helps cover a, the spots that you look a little funny sometimes right <laughs> so I use the ferns to cover the path and then um, and what I'll do is I'll try to like spread them out in different areas and I just try to keep filling in like gaps so then I'll go in and I will keep like putting different things and spreading them out so I'll take like a shrub a bush and then I will take maybe like a plant and then if I see like a small little gap then maybe I'll do um, some rocks and I'll just keep adding on and you'll see that here in a second and I'm just trying to fill in any little gaps as I see them if, I don't know if you're like me but when, <laughs> but when I see gaps it, I feel like I need to fill it sometimes and sometimes I overfill it <laughs> And then it looks so cluttered and I'm like, uh, I should have left it the way I had it. <laughs> and a lot of the time, okay, so a lot of the time if you're anything like me, I do, I, when I first built, like when I first did this small, simple build, I really didn't like it. I was like, I don't like it. <laughs> but we're going to post it anyway, because I haven't posted in a while. But then, like, it sometimes takes a little while to sink in. And sometimes it does take others cheering you on to be like you know what it's not that bad not <laughs> um so don't beat yourself up sometimes you might not like your build right away and sometimes it takes a little more time for you to sink in and be like you know what i did that i did a good job it, i enjoyed creating it and that's what matters so as you can see here like i was saying as i line the path so like i'll fill in little holes with the rocks i love filling in with the rocks and um whenever i see like a, a spot that because I can't sometimes you can't you have to mess with stuff and play with stuff so sometimes you have to see if the tree will fit with the the fern or if the rock will go next to the flower or whatever the case may be um, sometimes you have to play with it and see what will go together and what won't and so this is why even though space even though it's sped up and still take this path definitely took me a hot minute because I, it's i have to play with stuff and and then if i don't like the way that it looks i'm like moving stuff around so paths actually take me forever um especially when i'm trying to create like a natural looking path because i don't want the same items like lining the path i don't want it to look perfect i want it to look a little less put together but also put together at the same time if you know what i'm trying to say yeah feel me <laughs> So that's why sometimes the paths take me a hot minute. But as you can see, like even sped up, this takes this is taking me a good minute just to do. Like I probably spent the longest amount of time on this part of my build than anything. And I don't even know if you guys could see it in the picture. Um <laughs> But yes, I wanted a cute little path that lined from the bridge to the cottage and I love this little cottage setup. I really wish we could have multiples of that house. Like once you buy it once, I wish we could buy it again. That would be really cool. But I know Game Loft would lose out on a lot of money. But I think it would be really cool to be able to, have, be able to purchase multiple of the houses because I want, I've used this house, the cottage one, I love so much. I've used it in a couple different builds. And now this one, I just want to leave it here. Like, I refuse to uproot it for now until I think of something else. But 
if you know you know and I just really hope we get some more houses so here this is a little more close up as you can see like uh, where I put the rocks at to fill in those little gaps and then what really drives me insane is that when I closed out of this build is that like this section right here I had to redo it because it disappeared <laughs> see like I'm trying to fix stuff because when I exit out it completely like disappeared or moved everything and uh, move, moved a few things and I'm like oh my gosh like I spent all that time and you moved all that so I don't know if that happens to you guys but it happens to me and it drives me insane especially when I've done it inside and I've done indoor decor Ooh. but I love these little rocks too to add to your decor it's really cute it helps fill in some of the gaps so it doesn't look so empty but it, so it fills it in a little bit but it also looks like more rustic very more con like real because you know there's rocks everywhere in the woods outside so i think that that makes it look better and i so i was at it making trying to fill in the areas here as you can see in the other area across the bridge because when i take my pictures i want the background to look good and that needed to be filled in in order for me to take my picture so I filled it in there and I think it comes out great and again guys grass is great the grass is so perfect to fill in especially for a wood like woods vibe the grass is perfect for that and I love it so much I tried like I said as you guys can see I try to use it in as much of the areas as possible so when I know I'm gonna take a picture I try to fill in all the areas around it as well like it may not like some a lot of it you probably don't even see in the picture but if I know I'm gonna take pictures I have to make sure that around it sets the vibe and sets the scene so that you guys know what I'm going for and you get the vibes that I'm trying to create in case it is in the background or it is on the side of the picture I want you guys to be able to you know get what I was going for so see it all come together so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get to walk through so you can see what it looks like and i hope you guys enjoy thank you so much for watching i appreciate it so much more than you know sorry i've been mia i definitely want to try to post more often um but i have kids so no promises but <laughs> i really hope you guys enjoyed if you want to see more of my builds please check out my channel if you want to see the backyard of this beautiful college um please uh check out the other videos it should be in my playlist that i have at the um end of this video here and if you guys can please like and subscribe i appreciate it more than you guys know more than you more than you guys will ever know and also comment in the comments for me if you like when i talk or you prefer just music let me know because i would love to know um if you don't want to hear my voice all the time thank you guys and see you in the next video